What's up, y'all? This is Bob Sun TV, and today we in the building with Young Gleesh. Oh, my bad. I'm going to take the young off it. With Gleesh. Gleesh, what's up, Gleesh? Hey, how you all? I'm cool, and the people asked for this one. We had to put this one together. No question. How you been? What part of town you from? I'm from the clean side, no fees. You know, it's a dirty side by the shrimp boat, the no fees. That's the dirty side. We on the clean side of it. That's the clean side of no fees. Like, turn the camera around, show them this Ain't no trash out here, none, none of this Yeah. Clean side You gotta clean this up. Yeah. What's the regular day in North East? DC Boy, you know what it is out here. It's the same everywhere. What made you become a rapper? Like, the short story, Gucci and Boozy. The long story, the nigga Roger Beat. Roger B trans like transitioning from go go to rap and, and then was like man you need to uh, do some just on some joke and then I ended up taking that too serious. What year you start rapping? Uh, I left go go when when Obama got inaugurated that day. Everybody like Obama, Obama. That was my last show at the CFE. So what go-go band you play I, with? Huh? What go-go band you play with? Me and Chris out of T.O.B. Was you one of the pioneers of T.O.B.? Yeah, me and, uh, me and Chris out of that to go. Okay. That's that's something good to know. Because the people was asking me, like, you don't know Young Gleesh? I'm like, I heard of him. I do know his name. but And I know a lot of sayings he started, but I never ran into him. But I definitely know who you is, bro. No question. That's all right. So far as Slutty Boys, was you a member of Slutty Boys? Nah, you know, they from E Street and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm from 18th and Monroe. What's your relationship with them? Uh, D Duck, he used to be in all the go-go, and, and really, E Street was T.O.B. first supporters at the levels of the boom boom room, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? E Street was heavy on our They was the first supporters with T.O.B. And so, Chris used to let Duck get on the mic and rock out with us and so I always knew Duck from back then type you know what I'm saying? So then when I started rapping, Duck was putting in that good word over there with them boys and like, you know what I'm saying? My boy Glee, he used to be in the band and he funny, he got his own lingo, he, he out here, you know what I'm saying? Just putting in the word for me and type What you feel like one of your biggest songs? I don't know. I got my favorite, then that everybody else like, and then, you know, like DC, y'all niggas don't really with my like that, you know what I'm saying? So, like you were saying, you like Walk, Gleesh, Walk, that's probably DC biggest, like my DC favorite of my uh, My biggest song probably like Trap and Benny or Water or some but my favorite probably like Wasabi or something or some like that. I hear a lot of your lingo in the DMV though, like a lot, back in the day, like a lot of stuff. You, I don't, bro, that's crazy. I never ran into you, but I know stuff you used to say and I know it came from you. That's how big of the impact you had in the community. Nah, no, we, 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 we should, we, if we run out of time, we need to do some more because a lot of we could clear up and get, you know what I'm saying? You could have a lot of content with that. Most definitely. So I seen, I seen the other day, it came to my attention. The fans had sent me a post about Gleesh. Vatrell went on the interview and said he started Gleesh. How you feel about that? What that post was about? That job crazy, though, because it's like, it like, didn't you start Glizzy? Yeah, like both of us together. Like, yeah. it, it was more so, it was, it was his idea and I was with it. Like, all right, I'm in. So it's crazy because I, when I came to them, he going to run this joint like, do baby duck gave my I wasn't calling myself Gleesh. I was just using it as an ad lib in my songs. And so duck, like I say, he's putting in that good word for me around that time. He he started he's like man, young Gleesh. So he, you know what I'm saying? Just like coined me that type. I was already saying it. So by the time I got around trail, it was already that. So I was just trying to brand myself, like calling a bunch of Gleesh. Like I would have called you Aunt Gleesh or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Type. So, Shorty just like started taking that shit and running with it. It was like, you seen how in the video, he saying my right there while I'm standing next to him. He would say that like on some prop, give me prop. But then he started running with it because it sound too cool. It's like, 
when he's saying it without me around, it sounds like he's saying it. So his fans taking like, man, that sound cool. What is that? What, you know what I'm saying? But he never ever saying it's me. So it's just like some wild like, with you and Shorty, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, where the acknowledgement at? And like, what, what the I did to you to be on that I'm, I was with you. Like I said, even some we got, we got some we got a lot of history you don't know about type you know what I'm saying? Between me and you type you know what I'm saying? Fill me in. Yeah, I we, we got a lot. We gonna get some more time and this some brief, a brief for you and me real quick. You know make what I'm sure saying? You get my, just make sure you get my number out of this. We gonna chop it up. No question. Uh. On your picks, on your looking at DMV, who your top five right now? They they all locked up. Uh, it's probably more than five. I listen to. I just got into all of that for real. Cause it's a war going on, you know, you gotta be on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Cruddy going crazy, Slime going crazy, Baby Jamo going crazy, Gizmo going crazy. I listen to, uh, 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 G, uh, what's that, Get Back Gang, Active, Shorty going crazy, PhD Swag, you hip down? Nah. Get hip to PhD Swag, he going crazy. I don't really know where he from. I think he from Merlin or something. I might be wrong about that. I don't really know, bro. But get hip to him. Uh, Mill Rocks going crazy. There's a lot of bro. You said that a minute ago. You already know. This is my favorite question I ask all the rappers. Do you feel like Wale put the DMV on? Nah, I mean, we ain't never allow him to. But I mean, he ain't from the city. Change, because back when we was coming up, if you weren't from the city, if you weren't in the go-go's, you weren't in our schools, you weren't from around this Y'all let that with Shy and Trail rock out with that You know, Shy wasn't really out this You know, Trail wasn't really out this So niggas was let slide just for the, you know, DC nigga like Wayne Perry, if you gonna take care of us, we gonna rock out with you. You know? So, a lot of change. I see you used to come across the internet back in the day with this white girl. I don't know, she's like a supermodel. I think it was your girlfriend. How do a guy from Northeast get a girlfriend like that in life? Uh, I'm, I'm unique, bro. <laughs> I'm universal and well-rounded out this We're gonna find out when we get to chopping it up, bro. So what you feel like the DMV need to make rap better, like what to get people in the industry? What you think DMV missing? You, 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 I, geogra geographically, we already too small. Like, like nigga E40, all them the West Coast niggas, they always go platinum because if all of California listen to their music just alone, they gonna do numbers alone. Same with New York, where they got their drill scene and everybody got their drill scene. Like, people might listen to it from outside, but from inside already, they already doing a bunch of numbers. So off the bucks, I geographically just too small right there off the bucks that so we gotta be creative and, and find ways to get out because you know our city don't with you until you get out you know what i'm saying so what you feel like better your time in california or your time in the dmv i've been all around the world bro so wherever i be going i'll be forgetting i'll be not home i'll be like damn like it'd be all home to me everywhere bro What's one of your clutch producers? Like, if you need a clutch beat and you know, I know when he send me something, we gonna go up. What's a clutch producer for you? Well, I, you know me and Dolan like Gucci and Zay Tova. That's my Zay. So it's like, off the bucks, I, I run his name off the bucks. That's just all bucks. But I usually just with niggas that ain't got no name because they be the hungriest and they gonna really work. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas with names, they be too busy and got too much going on. What's your relationship with Gucci Man? They said they said you used to be with Gucci Man back in the day. I did my research. They said you used to be with Gucci Man. Man, I f with Gucci on his music, but some other, you know, you can't meet your idols. Leave it at that type. So is you making a comeback with the music? Like, is you about to make a comeback with rap? Yeah, it's a lot going on. That's why I said we got to stay in tune. We got a lot of content coming up. Running the uh, the whole little rollout and the whole little play for my album. <laughs> so if you could tell your fans anything they've been looking for, Gleesh, what you gonna tell them? I'm back, Gleechy. Ugh, the nigga. <laughs>
What's the most you ever made for a show? Probably like 15, 20. Doing you festivals do and like that type, you know what I'm saying? What like, you do with it? Did you invest it or did you blow it? I blow it. I ain't gonna lie, I blows it. Recently, I've been getting into a financial literacy type of mind and just learning in about money. And you know, as where we come from, they don't really teach us how to make money and how, how money really works. So we go off of all. Hold on, up. We go off of all and, uh, off of money, so we don't be knowing how to liabilities and assets and like that. So yeah, I was, I was up, but I went all the way up. But I was up for sure. Now in DC, it's like the murder rate getting higher and the killers getting younger. What you think the city can do to stop these youngers from being so wild? I mean, I always be thinking about that, bro. And I, when I first came back from out LA, I was like, I ain't with them young niggas, cause you already know how it go with them. They don't be one hit. They don't be seeing. We even when we was coming up, we weren't seeing from the old heads and like that. You know what I'm saying? So it only gonna get worse. Uh, it ain't like you can throw them money in bags. These niggas ask me just for AIPs and like that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> these niggas don't give a. Bro, they talk about pay the town rent. I looked at them like, I, I heard P. They like, man, please get the P. I said, what y'all gonna do? Y'all ain't got no address, no nothing. Y'all gonna do? They look at me sideways. Glee, we said AIP. We try to pay the town rent. Free money, free money for that. Oh, um, damn, y'all niggas don't want no money. I forgot. Type so, yeah, you know, you don't know, bro. Oh, that's crazy. If you had a million dollars right now, what would you do with it? Get some property. Uh, start a couple businesses, you know what I'm saying? Start get some assets that that's uh gonna work for you. Us as niggas, we buy because we want, but there's people that want too. So why don't you buy that that they want and get in the middle of that? You know what I'm saying? That's a call to asset. But if you buy that's depreciating, that's a liability. So learn the difference between those two. Did you play that new Fat Trail, uh, Nightmare on East Street too? I don't be listening. I ain't never really listened to that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't, that shit, I don't like that common sense rapper shit, but I don't wanna be on that shit, bro. My, my sound way different anyway. Just like niggas don't be listening to me, I ain't be listening to no, you know what I'm saying? So do you feel like you the biggest in Northeast? It's DC, boy. You gonna get your shit pushed back talking like that. Ain't no big, ain't no big nothing out there, joint. Fat Trail say he the king of Northeast. Boy, that's cap. That boy Cruddy Murder home. Boy, boy Cruddy Murder was home. It wasn't none of that. These niggas know what's up, bro. This bitch, bro. It's a war going on. They better stop faking out this. This niggas' problems, bro. <laughs> hey, Glees, you are crazy, cuz. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, uh, but I seen you had uh, caught some charges. And you don't never. You don't gotta speak on. Them. I don't want to get into detail. Hold on, it's a helicopter out this bitch. And they blowing bro phone up. You hustle the man, Ooh, bro going crazy. You owe that man money. Your cameraman owe people money, fool. Nigga blowing his phone up. Hustle the man, that's the worm, that's worm. What you saying though, up? Nigga, nigga trying to find him. Yeah, he out here on my side trying to get my head up. Yeah, that's crazy. That's you. Yeah, what you saying though? I see you had caught some charges back in the day. I don't want, I ain't here to talk about your charges or your case, but far as that, like, you didn't do no jail time or nothing, did you? You ain't go, end up going to jail, did you? Nah, nah, I ain't, and that's how you know that sound crazy, right? Cause when you take the trial, they throw the book at you, right? I took it to trial, lost, and got probation. Tight, you know what I'm saying, bro? It don't even make sense. But if you got time, bro, like I said, so much we could talk about, it's a lot of you. Like I said, since you don't know the connection between, I know how much we connected and how much we had going on that you don't know about, probably. Tell you. It's a whole nother story to Mr. Bucket, shorty. <laughs> so what's the name of your upcoming mixtape? Uh, Clean Size Finest Four. You know when you dropping it? 
We dropping, we dropping the first song July 4th. You got any features? Yeah. Uh, I probably got the joint with IDK. I probably got some with my nigga Mo Roy. He from, he from uh, Southside, but he live out LA. You probably remember him with uh, uh, Master P and shit. Um, uh, we do, I got some going on with KP too. They, you know what I'm saying? That's the youngin. So we working. Speaking of, speaking of KP and IDK, I'm going to speak on both of them. KP, I feel like I hear a lot of people say he sound like Young Gleesh. He, I feel like he the modern day Young Gleesh with his young swag on it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he sound like me. I think he just, out of everything that be sounding the same, he sound fresh and different. So that's how Gleesh was. That was my whole swag. It was like when everybody started doing the same I started doing me and then you know, a niggas attract, people attract to that You know what I'm saying? Something different. I give him that. I feel like it's just the cadence. It's just the cadence, the way he put the words together. I was listening to that nigga, Big Don Bino. He just came home, dropped some a couple of days ago, like 10, 12 days ago. He, KP was sounding like that. I ain't even gonna lie. I was like, damn, Bino was in, KP had that swag type What the Bino, Bino, one of my partners. I deal with Bino. I deal with Bino on the day to day. Yeah, he good, man. He, 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 he dolin' beat and all that. I'm help. I feel like him and KP need to get on a song. We need to. They need, need to do something for sure. That go crazy. I'm gonna try to put that together. We need to start doing something. Yeah, give me, give me my you credit for that, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me my credit for that. I got you. <laughs> all right. I definitely want. I definitely put don't, that thing. Yeah, together. don't like, trail me. Don't fat trail me, cause I'm gonna make a video. Of, hey, cause I'm just as funny as you, shorty. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm time and a half for your little ugly, bro. I'm trying to tell you, I'm with the, bro. Yeah. Hey, nah. Look though. What? Well, uh, speaking of IDK, speaking of IDK, he went on an interview with Angela Yee, and he said, like the DMV flow ain't nothing. Like the DMV ain't got no rappers. Basically saying, if you don't sound like him, call Drake. Whatever his name is, Corday or Shaq Lizzy, you ain't making it nowhere. Well, he also did say that a lot of the good talent was locked up too, so he did say, he did give niggas some credit for that, but I think what he was trying to say is the creativity, you know what I'm saying, outside the box and doing something original, you know what I'm saying, like right now we got an original sound, but how long we gonna keep to that, you know what I'm saying, we gotta keep adapting and times change and you gotta be able to adapt to that or you gonna get sucked up in that shit, you know what I'm saying? My opinion on it, I feel like, all right. Yeah, we listen to Dirk and Youngboy, but we really don't listen to that shit, hear what they talking about that's going on in that beef for real, mm -hmm. for real. So like when these young niggas got that topic going on, your favorite rappers are doing the same thing they doing. That's mm -hmm. why they popping here. I don't think music lyrical anymore. Yeah, they don't gotta be lyrical, but just as far as creatively, you know what I'm saying? That's another reason why I don't really listen to other musicians and rappers and shit because I get influenced by them without even knowing. The more you surround yourself in the environment, you start, you know what I'm saying? Like, we from the city, we talk like city niggas, and shit, but stop going to somewhere else, you gonna end up talking like some country nigga or some like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you gotta watch your environment, you know what I'm saying? All around, for multiple reasons. So what's your Instagram? Tell the people for the people that don't know, but I feel like everybody know you, Gleesh. For the people that don't know, tell them how I find you on Instagram. It's Gleesh, G-L-E-E-S-H. Big Gleesh, man, you hear me? Just Gleesh, though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm the real Gleesh, for real. There ain't no other. Is it safe to say you the real Gleesh? I'm the real Gleesh, ain't no other, man. <laughs>